Okay, welcome to Physics 121, How Things Work. So, what is this class? Uh, the scientist John Hopfield once said that the central idea of physics uh, is that you should be able to take anything apart, understand the relationship between its constituents, do experiments, and on that basis, be able to develop a quantitative understanding of its behavior. Physics is a point of view that the world around us is, with effort, ingenuity, adequate resources, fundamentally understandable. Uh, I like that point of view quite a lot. So in this class, we'll be spending time trying to understand a little bit about how the world around us uh, actually works. Um, we'll discuss the science behind everyday things, the motion of objects, how musical instruments work, materials, and much more. And we'll see how amazingly complicated behavior can follow from just a few simple, very general ideas and rules. Okay, but that's not really the goal of this class. Um, the goal of this class uh, is that I want you to come away knowing what it means to kind of think like a physicist, right? No matter what your background is or what your major is, a central value of the liberal arts education is being able to think from many different perspectives. Even if ultimately a physicist's approach doesn't resonate with you, I hope you'll walk away with an enriched perspective for understanding, right, like another way of seeing this world. Okay, so who is this class for? Um, it's really for anybody who is interested in learning more about how the world works. How can we make predictions um, about how things work? What are the physical laws governing things ranging from, you know, why is the sky blue? How does our car work? How do boats float in water? How do planets orbit around the sun? Anything like that. We'll also see what it means um, to see the world with numbers attached, right? And we'll learn how to quickly estimate the numbers attached to anything, ranging from how many people are in a crowd to how much energy might a wind turbine in our backyard be able to generate. Okay. Now, in this class, um, we're not going to be using the most complicated mathematical machinery that physics often exploits, right? We'll just use uh, some algebra, some geometry, and a little bit of trig at the level of sines and cosines. So if you're comfortable with those topics, you already know more than enough to follow along everything in this class. Okay, the flip side of that, uh, the flip side, that is, of using only a little bit of math, is that we'll really have to think hard about what the mathematical expressions we do end up using uh, are actually trying to tell us, right? So we'll be applying our critical thinking skills to go from just a few algebraic expressions to the physical content of what these um, laws are, okay? So what are we actually going to cover in this class? Um, this course has a recommended textbook. Let me, uh, let me pull that up. Uh, it's Lewis Bloomfield's How Things Work, The Physics of Everyday Life. Um, it's an excellent book, uh, and it's especially useful, I think, for providing some additional context for some of the topics that we'll be going through. It's also, I think, really always valuable when you're learning something new to see similar material from many different perspectives, and that's something that the book will definitely provide. Okay, So um, I'll provide a link in the description if you're interested in checking uh, this book out. Okay. Um, but it's not a required textbook, and we'll mostly be working off of a set of typed notes that I've prepared for this class. Um, they're all available for free. Again, I'll throw a link in the description. Um, and here we see a, uh, a table of contents, and from it you can get a little bit of a sense of what we're going to cover. Right? So we'll start out really thinking um, about what it means to engage our quantitative thinking skills, what are units and dimensions, some of the fundamental building blocks of physical laws that we'll be exploring, um, and how can we um, estimate uh, how can we estimate the quantities of things uh, in this class? This first section really doesn't correspond to anything in particular in that recommended textbook, um, but I think it's a crucial uh, a crucial kind of introduction to the topic. Right from there, we'll really start in on. Um, physical laws and how things work. So we'll cover things like Newton's laws of motion. We'll cover the behavior of everyday things ranging from springs and bouncing balls and roller coasters and bicycles. Uh, we'll think about uh, solids and liquids and gases. We'll think about how uh, what heat is and how it flows around. Uh, what that tells us about how cars work, how refrigerators and air conditioners work. We'll think about um, clocks and musical instruments and waves. We'll think about what light actually is. We'll try to understand why is the sky blue. 
And then we'll close the class um, with a little bit of a discussion of this idea of random walks. Uh, we'll use that to think about why our method of estimating the size of uh, physical quantities work so well and how it's connected to these face masks that we all um, have to wear so much these days. Okay, so uh, the sequence of videos that I'm about to post is basically intended as video versions of these notes, right? So I'll go through some of the essential material in each of these sections, hopefully provide a little bit of additional context for you, right? And so each video will just correspond to um, some section or subsection of these notes, you know, and each video will just be uh, however long it needs to be through to get through uh, some connected chunk of material. Okay, that's enough. Uh, that's enough setup. I'm excited. Let's go.